did mention it before at the engine talk downstairs. That is because the log carriage is the single only thing in this mill that is not powered by our main engine. It is powered by a smaller 78 liter. So if you would have walked by it on your way up here, it is directly below us. So now, over there we have two head saws. The bottom one has a diameter of 54 inches. The top has a diameter of 56. And the thickest log we ever got through here had a diameter of five feet. Now, if you look, you can see that there's about four feet of clearance between the saw blades and the wall. So that means that our max width and length that we can mill is about five by four feet. Now the longest log we ever cut had a length of 40 feet and you can custom order lumber from this mill and should you, for any particular reason, need a 5 by 5 by 40 piece of wood, ring us up, you know who to call. We just have to find a log for you. Now actually, speaking of uh, ringing people up for favors, there is a flooring company that works out of Comox and they will do your hardwood floor with lumber from our mill. So if you need a floor, you can give them a little ring too. So this here device is called the Log Carriage. Now, there would have been two employees working on it, but we have a relatively small mill staff, so we only have one to fill out the position of both. So we would have had a setter and a dogger. Now the dogger sets those three clamps that you see into the log so that it doesn't move anywhere. And he tries to make sure that the log is positioned on a straight vector from the saw blades. We also would have a setter. Now the setter throws this here close lever and